Welcome again. Right now we're at 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 1 through 16. And I'm telling you, this is going to be a good journey through the book of 1 Corinthians because there are a lot of goodies in here, okay? So let's get right into this. This is about, do you follow Jesus or Paul? Paul, called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ. The word apostle here means sent one, just meaning basically that he is sent of the Lord through the will of God and our brother Sosthenes to the assembly of God, which is, in, which is at Corinth, those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called saints with all who call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in every place, both theirs and ours, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach. I always thank my God concerning you for the grace of God which was given you in Mashiach Yeshua, in the Messiah Yeshua, that in everything you were enriched in him, in all speech and all knowledge, even as the testimony of Messiah was confirmed in you, so that you become behind in no gift, waiting for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is talking about when Jesus comes back and he reveals himself to the world. The revelation, revealing of Jesus Christ. Who will also confirm you until the end, blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't that glorious? Paul is saying here to the believers, to the saints in Corinth, that Jesus will confirm them blameless in the day, in the great day of the Lord. God is faithful through whom you were called into the fellowship of his son, Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord. Notice here it says fellowship. Now, some people don't even know that you can have fellowship with the Lord. You can actually have fellowship with Yeshua. Verse 10, now I beg you, brothers, through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing. Now, this is not talking about all basically saying the same thing as in just robots, okay? But this is talking about just basically that you all basically agree on what you say and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfected together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it has been reported to me concerning you, my brothers, that those who are from Chloe's household, that there are contentions among you. Now I mean this, that each one of you says, I follow Paul, I follow Apollos, and I follow Cephas, Cephas meaning Peter here, and I follow Christ. So obviously, you see, there were people way back in the day of Paul, okay? Nearly 2,000 years later, there are so many people today that are like this as well. Some people follow Paul. In other words, they go by Paul's teaching primarily, okay? They go first and foremost by Paul's teaching. They might not say literally, I follow Paul, but they say it in their doctrine. And other people say, I follow Christ. I follow Jesus. And indeed, if you call yourself a Christian, you should follow Christ. Because if you are a Christian, you are Christian. You are a follower of Jesus. Paul says, is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized into the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you except Crispus and Gaius, so that no one should say that I baptized you in my own name. I also baptized the household of Stephanus. Besides them, I don't know whether I baptized any other. What's Paul saying here? He's saying what any good Christian teacher would say. He's saying what any good pastor, any good priest would say. And that is this. Hey, listen, don't go by me. Go by Jesus. We're all brothers here. We follow Jesus here. So Paul is saying what any good Christian church leader would say today, and that is, hey, don't go by what I say. Go by what the Lord says. But do you know that most Christians today, most Christians today do follow Paul? 
Try talking to any Christian today about Torah, about how we are to follow God's commands, about how Jesus took Torah and drove it deeper into the hearts of people. Try talking to people today about how important it is to obey God. And you know, it is almost guaranteed that Christians today will oppose you quoting Paul, quoting Paul. Paul's letters. They'll say, oh, well, what, we're not saved by works. We're saved by grace. You see, they totally misunderstand Paul. They'll say, oh, we're saved by faith. We're saved by grace. We're not saved by works. We don't have to really obey. We don't have to do anything because Jesus did it all. Well, guess what? They are quoting Paul to you. They go by their interpretation of Paul's letters. They don't go by the simple truth that Jesus himself said. They don't go by the words in red. Jesus said a lot about what's going to happen on Judgment Day to his people, to his sheep. He tells you how he's going to judge his sheep. And I guarantee you, he's not going to be asking you if you said the sinner's prayer. I guarantee you, he's not going to ask you, do you have faith in me? As long as you have faith, you know, in my grace, you're saved. I guarantee you he's not going to say that. Read Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23. Read Matthew chapter 25. Jesus makes it very clear. You are going to be judged. You are going to be either saved or condemned based upon what you do or did not do for that matter. That is what Jesus says. And some people might say, well, that's before the cross. That's, that's before the cross, okay? After the cross, now we just go by faith. Well, no. Even Paul himself writing to the church not to the world he said if you do this 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 we're going to get to all that stuff we're going to get to the list of stuff that paul writes to the church in corinth to the church in Colossae, to the church in galatia all these places that paul writes this stuff saying if you do and he, he makes a whole list if you do any of these you will not inherit the kingdom of god okay jesus himself Jesus himself, the words in red, he said to his own church in the book of Revelation, chapters two and three, that he will judge you by your works. He says, I see your works. I see your works. I see your works. And you know what? He says, unless you repent, you will be judged. You will be condemned. And it's not very pretty. Read it for yourself. There are a lot of Christians today. They just go by their interpretation of Paul's letters and they sweep the words in red right under the carpet. So don't follow Paul. Follow Jesus. Paul, hey, he says a lot of good things, but he's not the Lord. He's not even part of the 12, okay? He's not even part of the 12 apostles. We can learn a lot from him, no doubt about that. But you got to believe the words in red above all else. Seek God while he may be found. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.